today I had the realization that I've never really vibed with which core due to the fact that it is I don't know I don't actually know what about which core was not doing it for me until very recently when I had the realization that I'm not a witch I'm a wizard like fuck Harry Potter I am living in a stone spire with my long, long flowing robes and my pointy little hat. And yeah. So for this coat, I've been doing a little bit of research and decided on a um, Japanese happy style coat uh, just for ease of like construction. Um, they're typically constructed like this. Yeah, because I'm quilting the majority of this coat I don't want it to be a super complicated build also yeah so this is the fabric I've decided to use for this project I've gathered quite a number of blues but I've tried to keep out of the more blue green range so here we're starting with this lovely blue floral of which I will trim down and cut into a series of triangles you see, I managed to get three triangles out of this fabric and also a sort of small square, which kind of inspires the rest of the quilt piece moving forward. I trim this blue heart fabric down and square it up before adding some light blue, trimming that up. And you see, I'm kind of laying things out here kind of just putting them down, trying to see what works and what doesn't. It's pretty much like a really fun, colorful puzzle that I'm making. So the one thing I would say about this method is that you have to be aware of the amount of seam allowance that sewing these together will, you know, take from your initial cut in the fabric. But if you keep that in mind, it really shouldn't be too big of a problem. Just keep them like a quarter inch all around. Or just expect that the piece is going to be smaller, which is what I do. <laughs> it's always going to be smaller than you think. So here I'm adding these two diagonal triangle square things uh, to kind of match one another. I really liked how the white dotted blue fabrics went together even though they were two different fabrics, two different blues even. Then I wanted to add a little bit more of this large floral print and kind of back end it with more of the, more of the gray blue floral. So that's my process with uh, piecing. And now I'm going to sew everything together.
taking you through the rest of my day. It is approximately 12 p.m. right now, so a little bit of a late start. That's okay. The first thing I'm going to do today is finish this tote bag that I've been working on uh, for quite a bit now. Um, and it's so close to being finished, I am going to scream. And it's so cute. I'm so, I'm very excited. So I'm going to work on this, finish this up, and then we're going to do something else. <laughs> This is literally all the yarn I have left. So I'm gonna chop it. And you can see here, I'm using a combination of half double crochets and a cluster stitch. And then I made the handles, just like normal handles. They're a bit smaller than I wanted, but I don't think that's bad. I think it still works. Nice little tote bag. Woo! So as you can see, uh, I have not made the bed yet. There's stuff like on the floor, my backpack, some clothes, my painting space is kind of a mess from the ritual. And yeah, we got a bunch of piles of stuff. So I'm gonna go fix that.
I have been working on this project for my roommate Nautica. It is the, what is it? It's the Skull Collar Tutorial by Katya Novakova. And I, I got this from her Ravelry page. You can link to it in the bio. And I'm pretty much almost done, which is really exciting because this is a Christmas present and it's currently July. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so it's a, uh, as it says, a skull collar. It definitely needs to be blocked. Um, so I have made a homemade blocking template out of some foam letter flooring that we've had for a little bit. And yeah, hopefully it'll look good. Hopefully she'll like it. And if not, I'll give it to Alex because I think he'll like it and if she doesn't. <laughs> um, but hopefully she does because this has been a long time coming. And um, yeah, I'm excited just to, just to have it done off the table. <laughs> yeah, um, so I'm gonna finish this up and then we'll see where that takes us. that's it that's the vlog you can find me online at earthworms.tumblr.com or earthworms on instagram and earthworms of course is spelled like this thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe see you later